welcome back to our vector tutorial series and today we're going to talk about a special kind of vectors that is called a normal vector and what a normal vector is is just a direction so if you remember a vector could be a direction plus a distance or so but today we're just going to talk about the the direction part of the uh, of it and that is called a normal uh, if you don't have all this in your character blueprint, you should go back and watch the previous video where we built this. But um, we have this hit result from our line trace and we want to do something with it. And what we want to do is draw a debug line. Debug. And why are we using a debug line instead of, an, uh, of another line trace? That's because you can't really see the debug line, uh, the, the line trace very well. And we want to visualize what is going on. So we have the hit location and we have the, the normal of our impact point here. So let's multiply this by Whoops. 100. And why do we do this? Because a normal vector only has a length of one and that's going to be hard to see. So we add this vector, uh, the location, and then we add the normal vector multiplied by 100 to get a nice long line. Let me do purple alpha channel. And the duration is just going to be 0, 0,5 here. Maybe more. If you can't see it, just make this number a little larger. But uh, thickness 3 is good. And we should actually already be able to see what the normal is. So let's have a look. Yep. As you can see, it's just straight out from the box, straight up from the floor. It's hard to see because of the way a debug line is drawn but it's it's just straight out from whatever you're hitting um, okay and to visualize this better go ahead go to your starter content and go to props drag in a material sphere and pull it up a little bit whoops and as you can see it's straight out from the sphere wherever you are hitting it. So this is just the normal vector. We have it and it is straight up. This is called a surface normal. That's what we're using. It is the direction of the surface at a certain point. So that's a thing vectors can be used for. These cool things. Okay, it, it, it's the vector itself is not very useful just as it is, but we can use it for something a little bit more exciting. So let's go back to our blueprint. And then, okay, here comes some more vector math for you. We have our end location and we subtract something from this. And what do we subtract? The start location of our previous line trace. And why do we do this, you ask? Because then we get a vector going from our end location to our start location. And just this part of it is what we're getting. And this is a direction and a distance. So we normalize this. And what happens when you normalize a vector? Well, you get a normal. Just like this one, it has a length of one. So now we have this one. And then let's say we want to do something with it. The normal vector was pretty cool, but we have this vector and it's normal. So let's just whoops. Let's multiply it by number. We don't want short normals. So Let's just say we want it to be 200 long. That's two meters. And why do we do this? Well, 
just because this one this one was 400 meters and this part is going to be 200 meters uh, it's just extra math so you uh, get a sense of what is going on working with it anyway we have this one but this is basically just going straight back at us so we want to mirror this whoops type mirror and then we mirror it by this normal and we add this vector to the location of our impact to get our end so let's see what happens you have now mirrored it and you as you can see it goes up more or out further depending on you see it can actually point straight back at you if you look straight at it so we now have a cool laser effect that bounces off a surface and you can just do this over and over and over again uh, to have it bounce on all the walls so it's a, it's a useful effect this you can actually use this in a game so feel free to build your sh cool shock with a laser on top if that's what you want or maybe a bear or a goat everything with, with the laser is cool remember that but this is a way you could do a laser that bounces off a surface i hope you enjoy i hope you understand and if you don't please leave a comment because then i can explain more and if you have a suggestion of what you want to do with vectors or anything else please leave a leave a comment so i can uh, consider it for a further video i hope you enjoy this and see you next time bye bye